going to be learning how to make a simple circuit card. And we focused on the Festival of Lights. We had Diwali, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Lunar New Year designs to choose from. So in our experiment, we're using a three volt battery, which holds the stored energy inside. We have the copper tape, which is the conductor that lets the electricity flow through it once we have everything connected. We have the five millimeter light, uh, which has the short side and the long side. Okay, so the short side is the negative. The positive side is um, the longer side. So that's important. See how it's laid out on the card stock. There's going to be uh, the left, the short, and the right, the long. And then we have regular clear tape. So when constructing things as engineers, we have to select materials that are going to be the most successful to use. And we think about the different forces that are upon them, make sure that they don't uh, collapse or tear. Cardstock is a little bit sturdier and thicker for when we're manipulating the paper, moving it around, poking things through it, it's less likely to tear. So the goal is to create a pathway for the electricity to pass through to make the five millimeter LED light bulb work and add on to your design that you select for the celebration of the lights. Make sure that you have this continuous path. This will have to be down and we'll explain how to do it and through this way here. Okay. First you, you cut a hole there's no hole. Poke a little hole, not too big that it's going to uh, make the light go all the way through the paper. And then you want to grab your light and your battery and you want to make sure it can light up first before you start. So if it doesn't work this way, just turn it and then do it like that. Okay, so you know both parts are working. I suggest doing this first. So grab your tape. Watch carefully, please. And rip a piece. And be careful because the tape is very delicate and it will curl up. You don't want it to get all stuck together. So you're doing one strip first. And then you'll grab a second one. And you're putting it just below the hole of the top part there. Not too close though. And there's like a finger space between the two pieces of tape. Can you demonstrate the finger space please? Thank you. Okay so there should be a space they shouldn't be touching and at the bottom as well. You're making a letter L but again there's a little space. Now you're going to grab another piece of tape and you're going to rip it off. And then here is where we connect the battery. So the light has two parts, two prongs, and the shorter one, this top part is the negative, and the longer one is the positive. And on the battery that we're going to use in a minute, there's um, a positive, see the plus and a negative. Okay, and the negative of the light area has to go with the negative of the battery, which is on the back, and the positive matches with the positive section. So now you're gonna grab your battery and you're going to place your tape on the plus side, like this. And then you can, you're going to place this side down onto your tape that is shaped like the L. And then if it's too long, you can just rip it off or cut it off put it on in like this. So you might need to squeeze it a little, but push it in. So the short side is on the left, which is the negative, to the L side, the L tape. Now you're going to, you might need to hold this part when you're folding it and just 
bend it down so it looks like it's going to touch the tape. And it's in a V shape. Now you can grab some clear tape. It doesn't have to be too much and then just apply it onto those two pieces. So the of negative tape. shorter prong of the light is touching the L, which is the negative part. Okay, and then the right side is the positive because this is the longer prong on the light bulb. Once you're done attaching the prongs and the tape and the battery, you can just flip it over and you can see it shining. This is the positive prong touch and the tape is connected to the positive part of the battery on top. And then underneath is the negative touching the negative. Now, this is now called a closed circuit. Okay. So remember, we talked about how the copper wire is a conductor of electricity. That means um, electricity can pass through it, okay, to make something work that needs electricity, which is the light bulb. Power source is the battery. Uh, it has stored energy inside. When this is all connected, it becomes a closed circuit. When you're done, um, we've added a flap of paper. So when you're not using the battery, then you're going to, because you don't want to waste the battery, you're going to flip it up and put this paper down so it doesn't use the battery up. Responsible safety tips. Three, two, one. Making sure that you're safe with this uh, battery and the light bulb. Do not take the battery off. Do not put it in your mouth. Do not leave it lying around because it's small, especially if you have younger brothers and sisters. They can pick it up and put it in their mouth. It's very dangerous to do that. So keep it in a safe place up high. And when you're ready to look at your card um, or the person that you're giving it to, just remind them of this rule as well, okay? Um, be careful because the tape is very delicate. So don't pull it really hard. Just be gentle when you lift it up and gentle when you put it down and gentle when you put it back. Putting them up high, making sure that all the batteries are sealed and uh, no one can access them. And then being careful with the light bulbs that you don't poke yourself at the bottom with the pro. A quick review. But the negative prong of the light bulb has to be touching the side of the battery that is negative. Okay, for it to work. And then the positive side of the light bulb has to be going down the positive side on the battery. Time to test your knowledge. How can we be safe with the materials like the battery so everyone stays safe? Keep the battery away up high and from small children and pets so they do not put it in their mouth. Circuit work. The negative prong of the five millimeter LED light must connect with the what of the battery, which is on the top or the bottom. Negative side of the battery on the bottom. Once I have made the circuit, if the battery is lifted up and no electricity flows through, it is called a what circuit? Open circuit. When we see the LED light work with electricity, it means the circuit is. Closed. A battery has what's stored inside? Energy. Woo!